Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given three equilateral triangles, each with a side length of 12. And there's a semicircle stuck inside of here like this. And it wants to know what is the area of the semicircle. This is day 11 of the 2025 Agvent calendar. For the month of December, we're gonna try to solve 31 Katrina Ag puzzles in 31 days. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. Since these are all equilateral triangles, each of these sides will be equal to 12. And for this down here, it's going to be cut in half. So this is six and six. And this little guy will also be an equilateral triangle. Since this angle is 60 degrees because it's shared with this triangle, this angle is 60 because it's shared with this triangle, this last angle would have to be 60 degrees because these add up to 180. So these two sides will equal this, they'll all be equal to six. And then since this whole side is equal to 12 and this is equal to six, this will also be equal to six. They'll all be equal to six. Let's focus on this rhombus. Enhance. I don't think we're gonna need all of this. Let's cut it in half and get rid of the bottom. And then from here, let's draw the radius perpendicular to this side and label it little r. And then this is getting hard to see. Let's dim the inside. And now we can write a formula for the area of the semicircle. It'll be equal to pi little r squared divided by two. This looks important. Let's put a box around it and we can move it down here. And now we can play around inside of here. Let's focus on this triangle. This angle is equal to 60 degrees because it's shared with the equilateral triangle. And then this angle will be equal to 30 degrees because they all need to add up to 180 degrees. In every single 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is always double the shortest side. And the side opposite the 60 degrees is always square root of three times the shortest side. Well, instead of multiplying the shortest side by the square root of three to get this side, we can divide this side by the square root of three to get the shortest side. So this shortest side will be equal to R divided by the square root of three. And then from here to get the hypotenuse, we can double the shortest side. So this hypotenuse would be equal to 2r divided by square root of 3. So now we have these three sides of this little triangle in terms of little r. And then from here we can draw this side perpendicular to this side where this is 60 degrees and this is 30 degrees. This side will also be equal to r. Since the side opposite the 60 is equal to r, the shortest side will be r divided by root three. And then to get the hypotenuse, we double this to give us two r over root three. So now we have this side of this equilateral triangle in terms of r. This whole thing is the same thing as this up here. That means all of this will equal six. So let's add both of these and set it equal to six. And we can clean this up. Since these have a common denominator, we can write them as a single fraction. And two r plus one r is equal to three r. And now to get rid of the square root of three in the denominator, we can multiply both sides of the equation by square root of three. This square root of three and this square root of three will cancel each other out. So we're gonna be left with three r. And then on the right-hand side, we can call this six root three. From here to get the r by itself, let's divide both sides by three. On the left-hand side, these will cancel each other out leaving us with r. And on the right-hand side, six divided by three is equal to two. So now we know that the r of our semicircle is equal to two root three. From here, we can square both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, we'll have r squared. And on the right-hand side, the square can go to each of these, giving us two squared, root three squared. Two squared is equal to four, and root three squared is equal to three. Four times three is equal to 12, and now we have r squared. Going back to our area equation, let's move the r squared in front, and in the place of r squared, we can plug in 12. And 12 pi divided by two is equal to six pi. And that is the answer to our question. Let's give it a label of square units, and it's already got a box. In this given diagram, the area of this semicircle is equal to six pi square units. How exciting. And this is the question for day 12. We're given a semicircle inside of a square. We're told this is equal to 25, and this is the question mark. It's asking how long is this distance? This one looks interesting. Is there really enough information here? How exciting.